First, it means that the places that have the best educational systems, both K through 12 and higher education, are going to do the best. And one thing we have on Long Island, we have one of the best educational establishments, if you will, in the country. We pay a lot of taxes for the schools, <clears throat> but they are top notch. And if you look at higher education, the SUNY system is getting better and better. Stony Brook, for instance, is one of the 50 research outstanding research universities in the world. I was just out there with Tim Bishop and some of our local, I think Mark Lesko was there, some of our other local elected officials. We just broke ground on something that none of us understand what it is, but it's called, well, Steve Engelbright was there, um, <coughs> called the light source. It's the leading, it's going to be the only one in the world that is able to send these very powerful beams of light and break up atoms into different pieces. And it's going to create the world's leading center of how nanotechnology moves forward. Now that's going to throw off jobs and it's not only will 5,000 people a year come and visit the light source, what that means for hotels and restaurants and things like that, you know, to do research. But more importantly, it's going to start throwing off companies that benefit from this research and again create high paying jobs. Same thing is happening at Stony Brook. Same thing is happening at Cold Spring Harbor. These three great places of research are going to throw off tremendous amounts of new ideas and hopefully new companies that stay here and grow here. Because of our well-educated labor force, if you look at the statistics, lots of companies that people never heard of that do all kinds of high-end activities in financial services and elsewhere are actually growing here on Long Island. And companies are going to look for a well-educated labor force like never before. And we have it. So it means we have tremendous potential. Anyone who thinks Long Island's best days are over, uh, I think misreads the world. All the investments we've made in quality of life and education in the first, in the next 50 years are going to be tremendously paid back to all of us and our children and our grandchildren. And so I am optimistic about the future. But to do that, we have to keep our infrastructure strong. And again, that has to be done in a smart way. And what I thought I'd do in, the, in, in this little talk is just let you know a few things that are happening in Washington that can help us keep our quality of life, grow our infrastructure as we grow our jobs. Aside from trying to get these kinds of dollars, and we're pouring research dollars into Stony Brook and to Brookhaven and to Cold Spring Harbor and other research institutions. The federal input there is hundreds of millions of dollars higher per year than it was 10 years ago, which is really important. We also have to have an infrastructure so people can move about, so people can live, etc. So here are a few things that I wanted to mention to you to look for on the horizon. The